The leading global supplier of metal drink cans is right here in the area, but that could soon change as hundreds of more than 100 workers are in limbo on whether or not they have a job. Maya May spoke with the workers at Arda Metal Packaging. Here's their story. For 21 years, Rosie Tinoco has been here, working at the Art of Metal Packing Facility in White House. But that could change with the potential closure of the plant. It was very shocking. I'm a single mother of seven, so I don't have a plan B. So I, I don't know where to go from here. The possible closure plans were announced in October. Tinoco says can production is all many of their employees know, and they don't want to be laid off without a fight. A lot of us that work here now, our parents worked here. So a lot of us were raised on this, and we're second generation can makers. Nicholas DeMasso Jr., the White House United Steelworkers Union president, says they haven't been told the reason this is happening, but they are working to find out. After that, we'll review the information. Um, with the international, uh, then we'll get together with the company and the international and the local team, the local union team, um, and see what we can do to uh, bargain basically or uh, have a conversation on how we keep it open. The union president says they need the community's support and that the closure will negatively impact the city. There is a chance though that it could stay open. Uh, right now at this time, they haven't officially said that whether they are closing or not, they told us they would be giving us that information by the end of the year. The company plans to make a decision before December 31st. Tonoko says the employees are working inside the plant to keep production on schedule while they stay hopeful the company will change its mind. We do bring a lot of um, potential and it's a, it's a lot of our livelihoods. Reporting in White House, Maya May for WTOL 11. We reached out to Arda Metal Packaging and they released a statement to WTOL that reads at this time there are no further updates as our internal reviews of the facility and discussions with the union populations are ongoing. We'll be sure to update you on any further development.